a week no longer greatness has arrived welcome to the trophy room reacting to the resident evil showcase um i'm your host joseph alongside me the greatest co-host whoever is whoever will be mr kyle stevenson how are you sir doing great a little spooked you're a little spooked a little spooked because walking in here i was expecting a lot more spooks i don't know about you i mean i really had no expectations Oh really? Because I wanted spooky vibes. I wanted. I think you know, we I got. I, to me, I think I got spooky vibes. Um, okay. I, for those of you who are stumbling across this video for the first time and don't know who mm -hmm. we are, I am a Resident Evil novice. I okay. played the RE2 demo, um, and I think that's as far as I went. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't really. I mean, I watched people play Resident Evil. I've watched Seven completely. Uh, from start to finish other people playing it uh, yeah. but haven't experienced myself so I just wanted to be I wanted to see something that looked cool and, mm -hmm. and a, a new thing to play on my PlayStation 5 and uh, I'll be honest I'm kind of in because it looks yeah. a lot more action-y 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 <laughs> action yeah. action than yeah. uh, than horror to me um, okay uh, yeah. So, so is that the reason? Like, because yeah, like for you, for me, I got into it with RE Seven. Mm -hmm. um, I played RE Two Remake. I absolutely adore it. I think it's one. Of, it was, I think it's one of the best remakes ever made, uh, if not the best. Um, you know, RE Three. You know, we have some detractors in in the comments, rightfully so. Very pretty, yeah. pretty polarizing. But I enjoyed my time with it as well. So I'm kind of a novice too. Of course, I got a little bit more experience on you, but, you know, I don't know the overarching story as well as, again, someone who's been in this mm -hmm. since the 90s with RE1. So yeah. for me, I'm 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 into this as well. I don't know if I'm more into it than I was with like seven excitement wise from what I've seen today. Mm -hmm. So, Kyle, let's talk about for a second uh, why we're here. First and foremost, we're streaming this. For our good friend, uh, Bobby, the Nintendo guru, who's battling COVID, we're trying to pay for his hospital fees. He's been in the hospital since uh, October, uh, since Halloween. So this is why we're, we're, we're putting this video, this stream together. So uh, link in the description, link in the chat um, for that. So you're walking in here more hyped. Is it because you think it's more action-y? Or is there something else about the aesthetic that's bringing you sure. into uh, RE Village than than Biohazard? It's definitely that it does feel more like an action game yeah. uh, than getting so spooked around every corner, which I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not going to probably shit my pants while, while I'm playing <laughs> this game. Uh, but I think the aesthetic has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. I'm digging the way the castle looks. Um, yes. Our, like as an outsider the re engine is pretty spectacular uh and the way that it does the lighting and like you mentioned the smoke coming off the gun after it shoots like the atmosphere is fantastic um, yeah so I'm, I'm actually i'm super excited to go download that demo and and just kind of like experience the world without having to worry about fighting for my life fair <laughs> yeah yeah, for me, uh, I dig the aesthetic as well. It looks like we can, at this point, kind of confirm that this is not the same uh, place that, that RE4 is in. It looks like this is mm. much different. It, it has a more Victorian era, like, like uh, aesthetic to it. Um, the castle itself, when you're walking into it, yeah, it does scream Victorian age. You get these weird witches that are now the main enemy. I don't know how threatening they're they're going are to they witches or vampires i keep i i forget what, what what they are which vampires i think it's fair to say that's fair because because like a vampire they turn into a bat these things turn into insects mm, that's true and that's the terrifying thing that we saw is that when these things chase you they turn into half humanoid half you know insect monster locust things. forms or whatever locust actually yeah. perfect yeah and you saw like one of them just went literally right through your hand till it swarms you and then yeah. eats you alive mm -hmm. the the thing that i was super in for um was when you're in the tunnels uh you talked about lighting that's where i think this demo actually shined for me and being able to shoot objects out of the hands of your enemies so like you saw this one uh, undead looking thing with a sword and you just shoot mm -hmm. the sword out of the thing's hand 
Yeah. Um, as they're like crawling towards you. Can I give and you that, a comparison to what I think those guys those please. guys remind me of? Yeah. Uh, go for it. Playing Demon Souls, the guys in the the tower. Ooh. Okay. That are locked up in the cells, that sometimes yes. have weapons in their hands. Like they, mm-hmm. I got I got those kind of vibes from them. Yeah. The same same type of vibes. And then we get to like where there's like these huge like ogre looking things with this huge ass hammer. Yeah. Something I, something's afoot in this island. Something's crazy. Someone's eating their goddamn vegetables because <laughs> there are there are monsters that are like 15, yeah. <laughs> 15 feet tall, I think, eight I think feet that's wide. another reason why I'm liking what I'm seeing from Village is that yeah. it's not just zombies. Mm. It seems like it's every monster you can think of. Yeah. Like trolls, think, ogres, uh, you got vampires, witches, werewolves. Like I'm all in give me everything. Give me the yeah. swamp thing. Give me Loch Ness <laughs> monster that I can ride off into the sunset on. Like I'm I'm sure the Duke, the merchant dude, is probably something else. Yeah. Or is he uh, is this connected to RE4? Because the my limited limited time with that game. Like I never beat it, but mm-hmm. is the Duke like an ancestor of the old merchant from four. But like, he like a this, whole bunch of weight. Like he's the son of the merchant mm. and just carrying on his business. I don't know, but he's also smoking a cigar. This guy, <laughs> this guy could be an uncle of mine and he should not be smoking. That's for sure. <laughs> no one should be, but like, especially this guy is 700 pounds. easy. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, I refuse to believe that this is n- not tied to RE4 in any way. Fair. Fair. It's um it's too similar in many yeah. ways. No, the one thing also, Nagachaka, thank you so much for pointing out in the chat was there's ammo crafting. Yeah. So you get to craft some ammo now. I like they they showcase a little bit of the the uh storage management, which that's that's always gonna be a hook for me in a video game. Yep. Um that's there. And um and a little bit improved as well. I like I like the I like the the layout, the UI that I'm seeing from this game as well. We get a demo uh, called the uh, Maiden. It's out today exclusively for the PlayStation Five. Um, this one is just showcasing the environments. The, you have no weapons. You're not shooting anything, but you could still assume you're gonna probably die a horrible death somewhere in there. And yeah. you're kind of just walking around the environment. Yeah, you're hyped for this. We had some detractors in the chat. I could agree with people like Joey Splatzer saying, "Hey, listen." I'm just walking around. That's not much of a demo. So, like, I I don't I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah. Like, I, I I think you mentioned it at the kitchen. You didn't do anything but sit there. Mm, that true. was a demo, to, and I I think it shows off. And I think I believe the the creative person behind the game, or one of the people behind the game, mentioned like the point of this maiden demo is to showcase the visuals and the audio. Mm-hmm. Um. It's to get a feel for what this game is, so I'm, I'm totally down for a tone piece to just okay. kind of hype up your levels of this world that you are going to go through, yeah. and it does look like the I, I keep trying, I keep stopping myself from calling them the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus because that's the, <laughs> the the first thing that popped in my head, but it it seems like they're walking around that mansion with you in this maiden thing, and you yeah. you do have to be stealthy, I think. To, yes. to make your way through so there is some el- some element of a game there yeah are you gonna play it tonight with the lights turned off i might i might see what what's what's going on in yeah. this this castle well here's a cool thing because this game was originally announced as ps5 xbox series there wasn't anything about ps4 or xbox yeah. one uh now we know it is also on ps4 it is also on xbox one but we saw only ps5 gameplay here mm-hmm. um and it's smart delivery on Xbox. It is a free upgrade on uh, PS4 as well, so you can upgrade it for free. You don't have to buy it twice, which is awesome. Should be just standard in, th- yeah. in things like these. Yeah. Um. I really, I, I can't stress this enough. PlayStation needs a better way. They need a, I, I, they need a, a delivery system that's very smart. You know, and there could be I a do. term that they use for it. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> uh, separate demo coming in the spring. And then um, that was pretty much it for that. They talked about RE verse multiplayer. Oh, before we get into RE verse. Yes. What are your thoughts of. Because I, I think one of the big questions from the first trailer is mm-hmm. why is Chris bothering Ethan? 
Why is he bringing up Ethan again? And they, the I guess the same creative director mentioned like, oh no, these witches, vampire witches, stole your daughter. They have your daughter. Mm. And that's Ethan's reason for going to this village to get his daughter back. So yeah. how do you feel with it? It's basically a rescue mission. Mm. And what if the maiden demo, you're playing as the daughter as she's trying to escape? And yeah. you don't know that until you play the full game. Uh, also, ask not why not. Uh, so ask what not why uh, writes in, correcting me again, COVID fog. RE7 had uh, ammo crafting too, though. That didn't make sense. So why they, did they talk about it? Um, yeah. I'll, th this one's definitely wor worth a rewatch for a couple of reasons. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Kyle. Continue. No, just uh, how do you feel with the reason why Ethan's back in this game as a protagonist? His daughter gets taken. Is, Honestly, is she is she like infected with whatever was in seven? Probably. And that's why no. I think so. Uh, the daughter's a, a new character. Um, I like Ethan. I I because I feel like I was Ethan. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, so like talking about Ari Village as a you know, being first person instead of, or back to first person instead of third person. I dig that a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, again, seven got me into the series. And so I kind of watching this demo was actually kind of excited to be back in first person instead of third person, not to say third person was bad or anything. Yeah. It just feels like I'm back home for the most sure. part. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like if there was like a third person mod or whatever, that'd be fantastic too. So again, um, I, I don't know why Ethan's here without spoiling seven, but it makes sense enough. And I'm definitely, I'm definitely on board why he would be here, but I don't know why he's vacationing with, you know, his wife, daughter and Chris Redfield. You know what I mean? I guess that will be explained soon. Mm. Uh, and be like, Hey honey, you want to go to like an abandoned <laughs> castle? <laughs> with yeah, the yeah, yeah. You could go to Disney world, but no, instead mm -hmm. let's, let's do this creepy castle. Um, so let's get to RE verse multiplayer. Sure. Okay, so that was that. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> I I'm all for, you know, celebrating the history of a storied franchise. Mm. Um because like our Resident Evil is iconic in video games. So right. to have all those characters in one game, I love it. Don't think our reverse looked great and, and it yes. looked like it was another battle royale kind of mode where you play as the iconic resident evil heroes and as you die you come back as one of the iconic villains mm -hmm. and now are turned against everybody yeah so i it's inter i would be interested to know what the hook is and if that hook will stay there and retain players yeah so this is a free uh, multiplayer uh, thing, I think, for RE Village, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um, but it didn't look like, uh, you know, I think we we're all saying, including the chat, please stop with the multiplayer yeah. editions of RE. They just don't work. It's it, it's the the combat does not does not suit multiplayer on purpose. Yeah, you need a totally different game if you're going to do that because you know you're moving around like a tank. Uh, mm -hmm. The aiming's purposely not great. Mm -hmm. uh, and to have that in a multiplayer setting, that you usually <laughs> want the opposite. Yeah, You want some it, tight controls. You in need, that trailer, you that. You, I think there is a shot of Leon just standing there and yeah. shooting at, I guess, I think it was Claire. Yes. And it just he just kind of stood there, and it was so awkward. And yep. if that's it, the multiplayer, it's just going to be like people standing there and not moving because of the aiming isn't purposely good, like you were saying. Um, yeah. I also yeah, didn't like didn't the drawn to, drawn to death vibes they were giving me. Uh, it's like a comic book. And, and you can see it's not even... It's a comic book shader over yeah. everything. And you can see like it's just like we're just throwing assets from all these games, putting a shader on it, calling it a multiplayer. Mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm, it, you mm -hmm. can see that it's just it, it's just there to put a check on a box and yeah. i just don't feel like if you're gonna do it just do something that is bold and new and unique and not what we saw there does that worry you for the length of re village 
No, because I think they didn't put <laughs> just looking at what I saw from that, mm-hmm. um, it looks like they did not put a lot of time into that multiplayer. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. It it also gives me vibes of like Dead Space 2 multiplayer, which was just so unnecessary. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh the Division Two uh Resident Evil crossover. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. That's cool. So there's an event in the Division Two. Uh, where you get uh, Leon Kennedy's outfit. Mm-hmm. It looks like you're fighting some uh, Resident Evil guys as well. Yeah. Some um, Umbrella dudes. So And more than just his. Like, you can unlock other outfits from other characters, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, that was freaking awesome. Also, if yeah. you hear sirens, they're on my end. Um, they're after me. I knew this was going to happen. Anyway, uh, <laughs> jokes aside, that's really cool to see publishers work together. Like, Ubisoft yeah, and Capcom it. working together, shaking hands. That's pretty dope. Um, you saw that with, I think, Assassin's Creed and uh, Square Square Enix. I think they had like a crossover there as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think like, they you saw yeah. Ezio ride a chocobo. <laughs> 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 Something nuts. No, it was it was. I know it was Origins. There, there was definitely so was Assassin's Bio Creed stuff chocobo. in another yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, then they go the Netflix show. Hey, remember the Netflix show? We have no new scenes from it. It's still CGI. I really don't know how I feel about that. Um, And it's coming this year. So. Oh, there was Assassin's Creed stuff in Legion. Watch Dogs. I see. Look at that. Well, that's the same company, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, overall, Kyle, this didn't last too long. I feel like it lasted a little under 20 minutes. How did you feel about it? Did you like it? Did you get get you hyped? Are you pre-ordering tonight? Where where do you, where do you land? I'm the hype meter of 1 to 10. Um also you were right. Final Fantasy 15 had Assassin's uh, Creed stuff. You dress um, up as Ezio? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> uh I'm not going to pre-order right away. Okay. Um just because I'm not running to my GameStop right now and going to pre-order cuz I want it physically. Right. Um I, it's definitely a higher on my radar. Uh, one of my goals this year is to play games that I don't normally play, and Resident mm-hmm. Evil is 100 the style of game that I don't normally play. So I am excited about this. I might boot up seven and actually play it myself. Um, and yeah, Jose, I think in the chat even says that uh, that RE Seven's in the ultimate package. The yeah, PS Plus, Plus collection. Yeah, PS Plus collection, which is freaking awesome. Yep. So, so yeah, I, I'm totally on board with it. I'm really excited for it. Still, so, um, my it, I feel like it matched the expect the realistic expectations that I had for this. Mm-hmm. It would have been cool if we got to see RE4 remake, but you know, and I see the internet's like really pissed. They're like, "Give me Code Veronica." Oh. Where was Code Veronica? Come on, we saw those leaked documents. We know what you're hiding. <laughs> Come on, thing. yeah, it's like Q is in the chat. So. I think, you know, getting the that stuff out of the way, you can't show Code Veronica. I don't think you can show, you know, if, you know, Resident Evil 4 remakes there. It's going to totally outshine Village, which is the main purpose mm-hmm. of this thing. Yeah. You know? I, so, again, to expect that, I understand. Well, I, I totally it's do. It's not like it's it. not coming, Internet. So chill yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Just come And on. also, you're going to be upset when they announce it anyway. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. You know, these companies can't have it both ways. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I feel like I, it was, it was an eight for me. I was like, okay, great. I know I'm getting this game. I'm still sold on this game. I'm going to be getting this game. Uh, yeah. and I'm going to be trying out that demo and going to see what it's all about <laughs> with that, Kyle, any, any finishing thoughts before we head on out here? Uh, no, uh, I I'm liking that this was the first kind of game uh reveal of, of some sorts to react to of the year mm-hmm. um i, I kind of like this format of just having a, a like how long was it 10 minutes like 10 tops? 15 minutes yeah just a quick little 10 15 minutes to to, to hype up a new game i like that a whole mm-hmm. lot um mm-hmm. and i think they did a great job i think village looks super cool and yeah. um definitely sold me on it so yeah awesome. i liked it a lot yeah, it's cool that you have like a your your resolution is let me play games that I normally wouldn't, and mine is I'll play games that I normally wouldn't in the form of indies. Yeah, so I really dig that as well. Yeah, uh, Kyle, anything you want to pip out at before we get out of here? 
As always, I like to pip out myself, Mr. Kasep on Twitter and on PSN. Uh, you can find all the indie game coverage that I do over at 61indie.com and twitch.tv slash 61indie and youtube.com slash 61indie. Dude, thank you again so much for doing this two days in a row with me, buddy. You can find me over at Mr. Babbitt. You can find the show over at PS Trophy Room on Twitter. You can find the show's video version, which this is only a video version, uh, on YouTube. And you can find the podcast, The Trophy Room, where me and my best friend Kyle over there talk about the latest and greatest in PlayStation news each and every Thursday. Um, and yeah, you can find that wherever you get your podcast services, whether that's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, again, wherever you find uh, a podcast, you, you can find us there as well. So with all that said, and with all that out of the way, everybody, keep your wits about you and have a nice one.